Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into some of the important Kafka core concepts or terminologies. Well, in order to use Kafka in our Spring Boot application, we have to understand Apache Kafka core concepts or the terminologies. Well, in this lecture, I am going to go through some of the important Apache Kafka terminologies or the core concepts so that it will be easy for you to understand how to use you know Apache Kafka in a Spring Boot application. Well, let's begin with Kafka cluster. Well, as we know that Apache Kafka is a distributed system, right? It acts as a cluster. Well, Kafka cluster consists of set of brokers. A cluster has a minimum of three brokers. Well, if you can see the diagram over here, Kafka cluster is nothing but it consists of set of brokers. It means it consists of one or more brokers and it is recommended that at least you have three you know brokers in a Kafka cluster in a production all right so just remember Kafka cluster is nothing but it consists of one or more Kafka brokers now question is what is Kafka broker well Kafka broker is a Kafka server it's just a meaningful name given to the Kafka server and this make this name makes sense as well because all that Kafka does is acts as a message broker between producer and consumer the producer and consumer don't interact directly. They use Kafka server as an agent or a broker to exchange the messages. For example, if you can see the diagram over here, Kafka broker, you know, it acts as an agent or a broker to exchange messages between producer and consumer. All right. So just remember, Kafka broker is nothing but a Kafka server. It acts as a broker or an agent to exchange messages between producer and consumer. All right. Now the question is, what is producer well producer is nothing but an application that produces the messages and sends to the kafka broker well producer does not send message directly to the recipient it sends a message only to the kafka server all right just remember producer is nothing but an application that produces the messages and sends to the kafka broker producer don't send a message directly to the consumers it sent message only to the Kafka server. All right. Now the question is, what is consumer? Well, consumer is basically an application that reads or consumes a message from the Kafka server. Well, the producers are sending the data. They must be sending to someone, right? The consumers are the recipients. But remember that producers don't send data to the recipient address. They just send it to Kafka server first and anyone who is interested in that data can come forward and take it from the Kafka server. So any application that requests data from the Kafka server is a consumer and they can ask for data sent by any producer provided they have permissions to read it. For example, look at here we have a Kafka broker and producer is nothing but an application that produces the messages and sends to the Kafka broker. And consumer is nothing but application that consumes or reads a message from the Kafka server. All right. Now the question is how the data is stored in a Kafka broker. Well, we learned that producer sends data to the Kafka broker. Then consumer can ask for data from the Kafka broker. But the question is what kind of data? We need to have some identification mechanism to request data from the broker. There comes the topic. Well, what is topic? Well, topic is basically nothing but a category in a Kafka broker where the message is basically stored. For example, let's say producer is an application that produces the message or any data and that data will be sent to the Kafka broker. And the data can be any format like data can be a text, data can be a string, data can be arrow, data can be a JSON, byte array, all right. But when, when consumer consumes that data, there should be an identification mechanism in order to identify which kind of data. All right. So in order to store, you know, the data format, we can use a topic. So topic is nothing but a category in a Kafka broker. It, you know, it categorizes basically the messages or the data. Well, if you can compare topic with a database term, then topic is like a table in a database. Well, in database table, we store the records in a sequential manner, right? Similarly, in topic, we store the message in a sequential manner. All right. Well, topic is identified by a name. Well, each topic contains a unique name so that consumer can easily, you know, consume 
the data from that particular topic. You can have any number of topics in a Kafka cluster or Kafka broker. Well, you cannot query the message in a topic. Well, in database table, we query the data from the table, right? But in case of topic, you cannot query the data from the topic. The producer have to send the data to the Kafka broker and the consumer have to consume the data from the Kafka broker. All right, just remember topic is nothing but a category that, you know, categorize the messages in a Kafka broker. And each topic has a unique name so that consumer can, you know, subscribe to that particular topic. And you can, you know, create any number of topics that you want in a Kafka broker. Next, what is Kafka partitions? Well, Kafka topics are further divided into a number of partitions, which contains the records in an unchangeable sequence. Well, if you can see the diagram over here, we have topic 1. This topic 1 is divided into number of partitions, partition 1, partition 2, partition 3. And again, topic 2 is also divided into partition 1, partition 2, partition 3. Well, the idea behind a partition is that whenever Kafka brokers will store messages for a topic, but the capacity of the data can be enormous and it may not possible to store in a single computer. Therefore, it will be partitioned into multiple parts and distributed among multiple computers since Kafka is a distributed system. Well, as we know that Kafka is a distributed system. So whenever we have a large amount of data, we can divide into partitions and we can distribute it among a multiple, you know, Kafka brokers in a Kafka cluster, right? So this is how the partitions looks like. So just remember partitions, nothing but a topic is again further divided into partitions so that a huge amount of data can be divided in among multiple partitions. Now the question is how the messages will be stored in a partition of the particular topic and how the message will be identified by your IDs. Well, that is where basically offset comes into picture. Offset is nothing but a sequence of IDs given to a message as the arrive at a partition. Once the offset is assigned, it will never be changed. The first message gets an offset 0, the next message receives an offset 1 and so on and so forth. Well, consider we have a Kafka broker, it has a topic and topic is divided into multiple partitions. And whenever, you know, Kafka broker store the message in a partition of the topic, then a sequence ID will be assigned to that message and that is called offset. Okay, for example, if you can see here partition 0, partition 1 and partition 2. And these are the sequence uh, IDs given to the messages. Okay, and this is called a offset. And the offset ID starts with a 0, 1, 2, 3 like this. Alright, just remember offset is nothing but sequence of IDs given to the messages in a partition of a particular topic. Now let's take a look into what is consumer groups. Well, if you can see the diagram over here, we have my topic. It has multiple partitions like partition 0, partition 1, partition 2. And there are a lot of consumers are consuming the data from the my topic. And if you can see here, the consumers are again grouped here. Consumer group A contains these four groups. Consumer B contains these two groups. All right. So consumer group contains one or more groups working together to process the message. Well, just remember consumer group contains one or more consumers working together to process the messages. All right. So these are the important Apache Kafka terminologies or core concepts. Well, whenever we create Spring Boot Kafka project, then we are going to use these terminologies a lot. That's why I thought I could cover all these core concepts or the terminologies in this lecture. So let's quickly recap all these terminologies again. So Kafka clusters basically consist of one or more brokers and broker is nothing but a Kafka server and it basically acts as an agent or broker to exchange a message between producer and consumer. Producer is nothing but application that produces the message and send to the Kafka broker and consumer is nothing but application that reads or consumes a message from the Kafka server. Kafka topic is nothing but a category. It categorizes the messages in a Kafka broker and we can create any number of topics in a Kafka broker and each topic have a unique name so that consumer can subscribe to that particular topic. Kafka topics are divided into number of partitions which contain records in an unchangeable sequence. 
Offset is nothing but a sequence of IDs given to a messages in a partition of a particular topic. Consumer group contains one or more consumers working together to process the message. So these are the important Apache Kafka terminologies. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.